Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. In a previous video we looked at setting up a second character or a brand new character in Grand Theft Auto Online or GTA Online. We've had quite a number of views on that one. It's been our most successful video so far. I will put a, a link in the description below. We've also had some fantastic discussion around what does and doesn't carry over between your new characters. So what we're doing today is taking a look at what stays the same between characters and what you lose when you create a new character or switch to a second character in Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's start by taking a look at what I already have. You can see here we are with a character I created in the previous video, Mr. Sharp. We have two properties with Mr. Sharp. I've got the garage, which I've filled up with many, many purple cars. And we also have a single low rent bungalow or a house with a reasonable garage as well. The second garage, which is with the house, does not have any cars with it. I also have a bank balance around the 800,000 mark and the character is set to about level 19 at the time of recording. Okay, so as we move into the next section, we'll jump into the menu, go to online and down to swap character so that we can enter the character menu. We'll be prompted to, uh, to exit the session, we just hit select and, and OK for that one. And as we exit out, GTA takes us to the character creation screen. And we can see there, there's Mr. Sharp on the left hand side with his fancy hat. And there is an empty slot on the right with just that placeholder character called, conveniently enough, new character and with a serial of two. So we swap over to that one, hit the edit button, and the first option we're presented with after the kiss off is the level swap. You can see right there. That allows us to convert or transfer our levels over to the new character. So in this case, I'm going to hit yes. That's uh, A on the controller or enter. And that takes us through to the character screen. What I'm going to do here is just tear through the character screen. There's a more in-depth tutorial on that in the other video. And we'll pick back up after the character creation and we're back in the game with our new character. And we're just about to rejoin the game having created the new character. Let's see where it drops us. Well, it looks like we're in the absolute middle of nowhere. We've only got a very, very basic firearm, just a sidearm with initial ammo and that's it. So while the level's the same, and I presume other things will be as well, we have no armor, we have no weapons to speak of, and we are in the middle of, well, nowhere. That's all right, let's take a look at the new character anyway. Uh, I'd like everyone to meet Lucy, uh, uh, my third creation in a GTA Online. So let's take a quick look through the options available. Um, that's all the standard ones, just putting through there. But there was something I saw just a touch earlier that caught my attention. It looks like there may in fact be a new property on there. The Tinsel Hamlets, perhaps? Let's go back and have another look. There you go, Tinsel Towers. That is not a property I had before. So, looking at the map here, let's scroll back out. Now, if you recall, the previous properties were in the southwest. This one appears to be in the northeast, so that's a little odd. That's not what I expected, if I'm honest, when swapping over. It looks as though GTA has given me a brand new property. Okay, well, let's go fetch a car and check it out. Mm -hmm. 
and here we are at the, the apartment. Um, I've not been here before, so this will be a bit of an adventure for all of us. We'll just wander in, head upstairs, and see what GTA has prepared for us. Well, I'm going to be honest, I was not expecting this when I started making this video. I thought perhaps a few assets might get transferred over, or just money and level, but not a new apartment that I've not bought nor laid eyes on being given or gifted to my, my new character. So that's a genuine surprise. Uh, it's quite a nice looking apartment by the way. It's it's spacious uh, and has a fantastic view. Let's take a, a bit of a wander around and take in the, the amenities for a few moments. So let's just take a look around to the right here. I suspect this is going to be the bedroom. Well, that's really neat. Oh, that's a, a neat map and this looks like a staging area. Oh, awesome. I might be able to stage heists from here. Now let's take a look and see if there is a garage around the place. And there is. Awesome. Okay, so let's sneak through to the garage and see if any of the vehicles have been transferred over. And empty. Completely clean slate. Okay, so thus far we know that the levels have been swapped over. We have a new apartment and we have an empty garage, so none of the vehicles have been swapped. Okay, so let's check one more thing. Let's make sure we still have a flush looking bank account. Now, in my previous character's account, I had around about 800k. So if we sneak down to Maze, log in, and there we are, we have 799,000 and change. So to recap, when we create a new character, a second character in Grand Theft Auto Online, we have the option of moving the level over from your previous character to your current one, but that's not compulsory, it's an option. Your bank account remains intact. If you have property holdings, there's, I suppose, a reasonable chance that you will be given another apartment, although I cannot, cannot confirm that. And if you know for sure, please leave a comment down below. Your armory, as in weapons, uh, armor, and equipment is completely reset. Your assets, as far as vehicles go, are reset. So they do not carry over with you. And that's it for this video. If you have any further information or you'd like to ask any questions, please leave a comment down below. We're pretty active with comments and endeavor to answer any questions fairly promptly. Thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. If you like what you've seen, click that like button below. It'll really help us out. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that notification and that subscribe button. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.